Hello everyone, we are back with our little learners today. We got Wilma Rudolph. Uh, she was a pretty awesome sprinter. Um, she was born in 1940 and died in 1994. Wilma was one of America's most famous sprinters, but her journey to the finish line was a long one. When she was four years old, Wilma contracted polio, for which there was no cure at the time. The disease paralyzed her left leg and she was forced to wear a metal brace. Wilma got diff was different and got teased a lot. She was small and her sandy hair made her stand out, but Wilma was also strong. With lots of hard work, determination, and physical therapy, she was walking without her brace by the age of 12. A year later, she was running faster than all the boys and girls in her grade. By middle school, she had joined track and field and was winning every event. When she was only 16 years old, she earned her first Olympic medal at the 90, 1956 Games in Melbourne, Australia. Only a few years before, she had never heard, even heard of the Olympic Games, but now Wilma was determined to win the gold. In Rome, 1960, she became the first American woman to win three gold medals in a single Olympics. When she returned to Clarksville, Tennessee, a parade was given in her honor. But Wilma found out that the organizers planned the, the event to be segregated, so she refused to participate until they agreed to integrate it. As an American icon, Wilma knew her stance on civil rights would have an impact. She didn't let the fact that she was so young stopped her. How amazing that one a brave voice can make a difference. Wilma later became a teacher and a coach. In 1981, she started the Wilma Rudolph Foundation to support young athletes. Hope you all learned something. Bye everyone.